Pathfinder, you have new email. It's my night off. Just checking in. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Sarah. She's restless, but on the mend. So you're not really taking the night off? <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You love what you do. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my exes. How do you do it? Be both you and the Pathfinder. I don't really think about the Pathfinder thing when it comes to friends, family. Vetra? Sure, I have a responsibility to them, but I don't let it define me. Or our relationship. Sometimes, just sometimes, real wisdom comes out of that thick skull of yours. A compliment? I'll take it. Wait. You're psychoanalyzing me. Always. I just feel better if the Tempest had a main gun. Hull's not built for it. The recoil will blow out all our fancy windows. What defenses does the ship have? Kinetic barriers to handle space debris, the stealth drive, and us. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the run at City? Meridian? I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I'm frustrated too. But we're close. Every bit's progress. I know. I'll just put that stuff back on the shelf. For later. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face, 
sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Uncle Pathfinder. Tests? You said... Uh... I know what I said, but your protein levels are on the low side. Doc, I'm missing three lungs. Who gives shit about protein levels? I do. Just let her worry about you, old man. It's not like being a created species really means anything. The Angara are the Angara. What matters in the end is that they exist. We can talk more later. Sure. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is, it's a minefield. You saw minefields in crisis response? A lot of wounded? That was awful, sure. But the long term is worse. Minefields hobble the whole population, make normal life impossible. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, they're some motherfuckers. Hello, Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... in awe. There's a peace in knowing that... though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a hidden destiny. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds, all these advanced tools, and there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing except ourselves. And that's everything. Straight shot at Meridian. You know the Archon won't make this easy. But neither will we. Let's see what he's got. And punch right through. 
Keep it flexible, then hit where it hurts. Works for me. We have everything we need. I think we always did. Once we get to Meridian, we'll need to figure out what's next. Whatever's there has to be big. I hope I'm ready enough. I don't know what we'll find, but I trust you to meet it with everything you've got. Right. Okay. I can't forget that someone built the Scourge weapon and chose to use it. Those forces are at work here. But Meridian first. Everything else will fall as it may. We'll show them how it's done, Pathfinder. Always do. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? That there's so much we don't know? It's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. <laughs>